Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel ISC Steno. We are starting the passage at speed of 110 word per minute. Start. Mr. Speaker, Sir, yesterday the Honorable Minister and today the Chairman of the Select Committee have fully explained the various clauses of the bill and certain important changes that have been effected by the Select Committee. I propose to confine myself to two or three important features of the bill which require re-examination and close attention by the government. Sir, I need hardly emphasize the important role which the electricity supply undertakings play in the national economy of the country. Indeed, the development in other spheres depends upon the full development of the supply of power and this bill is of vital importance, affecting as it does the development of electric supply undertakings in the country. I am focusing attention on the rule that the private electricity undertakings are playing in the supply of electric power with a view to drawing the attention of government to the difficulties that are bound to be faced by these electricity undertakings in one or two directions. In this connection, I would not therefore like to take much of the time of the House, but I would like to draw the attention of the Honourable Minister to what my Honourable friend Sri Tulsi Das has stated and with whose comments I am in full argument. As a matter of fact, the approach of the government to the bill is to fulfill three basic considerations, so vital for the healthy growth of this industry. Firstly, that its proper control and regulation is but necessary. I fully agree that this is subject to certain defenses on basic aspects but the important consideration governing this bill is to attempt at providing suitable incentives to the industry which alone can enable it to increase its capacity to the desired extent. Therefore, I would like to refer to the incentives as provided in the bill and to the need for liberalizing the clause in respect of the fair return to the investors in these undertakings. I would like to draw the attention of the Honorable Minister to the fact that since the passing of the original act in 1948, only eight states throughout the country have constituted the statutory electricity board. Among these states are Madhya Pradesh, West Bengal, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Rajasthan, Punjab, Odisha and Maharashtra and therefore we find that many of the states have still to constitute these electricity boards. Stop, stop.